All right, I get a lot of questions on, um, I talk about a lot of times that I, I carve different places. I went up to Fredericksburg last week and I did some carving there while sitting in the square with people uh, um, shopping. And I do that a lot of times when my, my wife goes and, and uh, she wants to shop and I don't want to shop, I don't like to. So I sit and whittle, and a lot of people have asked, well, how do you, uh, uh, that sounds like a neat thing to do, how do you do that? Well, one thing for sure, there are certain rules that when you whittle out in the public, number one is that you always keep your knife at bay to any children that might come up to you, or anything like that. I was, I was carving during Halloween, and um, handing out candy, and I always, when the kids would come, I would always take my knife, and I would... I would put it back like this, in other words, so that none of them would... Because some of the kids come up there and they want to uh, see what you're doing and stuff. So, uh, a lot of people say, well, well, how do, you, uh, how do you do that and not get the chips and all that stuff all over the place? And that's one of the things you want to understand, is that you don't want to... Uh, you don't want to uh, go someplace and carve out in the uh, open or in the public and let your chips fall. Say I was carving on a bench there uh, in the shopping um, area. And uh, you don't let your, your carvings, your, uh, excuse me, your wood chips fall on the floor. You don't do that and then not clean them up because I'm going to tell you something. They're not, you're not going to be very welcome next time you come. So, here's the solution. I went out to Walmart and I bought me a little old fishing box. That's all it is. Just a little fishing box like this. Okay? And I keep my tools in it. Here's my knives. My knives, my gouges, and all that stuff. And I carry it around with me when I do things like that. So all I do is when I get there, I just open my little fishing box like this. I set it on my lap. And as I carve, just like this, my chips, I let them drop into the box. Therefore, I don't disturb. If they fall on me, I just put them in the box there. And by the end of the day, all my shavings are in the box. And uh, I'll take it to the uh, home or motel room or whatever. I'll take all my tools out of here and I'll just dump in the trash can. Simple as that. Then you can take your other carvings if you want to and lay them, or, or lay them here so people can look at them or whatever. But this is a perfect, and then this is a cheap little old fishing box. It's about $9 for it. It's a plastic one. And I keep, uh, it, it's big enough to, to keep uh, several of your little blanks that you want to carve out and everything like that sitting right there. And they just fall down the box. What, what is it? It came with a, um, a little top, in other words, and I just uh, insert, and I just took it out, and I just take it out, and as I carve, I just let, uh, and if you've got a lot of chips, we'll stop for a minute, take the tools out for a second, dump it in the trash can nearby, but that's how I do it whenever I'm uh, out, or in a mall, or something like that, and it's real simple, but please, don't go to a mall, or go to someplace like that, carve on a bench, no matter how much it is, but let your chips fall on the floor and don't clean them up. Please don't do that. You know, as carvers, we have to be courteous of everyone around us. So this is a little tip on when you carve outdoors or go to a doctor or anything like that. I, sometimes I'll take my mother to a, uh, a doctor and I'll bring my little... Uh, I know a lot of people ask you, you're going fishing and stuff like that, and you just laugh at them. Uh, but carry your little uh, fishing box around just like that real simple and you can open it up you got your tools here you got your blanks here you just open up and start carving and make sure that all you know get all your uh, just carve slowly it's like that and look the chip just fall in there and later on you can you can dump them out so that's a little tip uh, that uh, people were asking me well how do you you know how do you carve without get making a mess and stuff like that well that's how I do it so, 
That's our little tip for today.